welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be using some bling line hard gel to create a set of nails and um, the colors i'm using are marianne i really like her she's very very pretty uh, i've got ella she's a gorgeous pink with a shimmer through her actually these are all kind of like some of my favorite colors lena she's like a purpley pink lilac-y pink and Kayla is the most gorgeous metallic lilac oh, I love that one so much <laughs> oh yeah and Snow White better not forget Snow White there we go ta-da it's exactly what it says on the tin Snow White well I'm using my flexi hand this is the flexi hand trainer Sharon who is the mastermind behind a flexi hand she does do a whole hand as well i just personally prefer to use the flexi hand trainer which is the hand with all separate fingers on wires i just find it a little bit more maneuverable it's also good for people who are beginners and training if you are if you're advanced or you know you've been qualified for a long time then you might prefer the whole hand i still prefer this one but it's entirely up to you um right the glitter i've got here is cake pop dots and iridescent hearts these are both available from nail sugar and you can use code nap mug 10 to save 10 percent on these when you order these are absolutely beautiful i don't use dots very often so i thought right today we're going to use dots and shapes and i chose hearts because i'm feeling the love today i don't know why but i'm feeling the love <laughs> even though i've done this set yesterday maybe i was feeling the love yesterday i've cured um i think this was Le lena two coats of lena there was a hair that I had to get that out because i don't want to cure that in there um two coats of that each coat of the hard gel colors cure for 60 seconds in an led lamp I've then gone over with a thin coat of Cool One Step Gel in clear because I'm going to apply the cake pop dots into these, into this. And I'm going to, I'm actually going to cure the dots into that hard gel because then I know that when I come to encapsulate the nail, then obviously they're not going to move around. Um, I did want to tell you as well, you can get 10% off your flexi hand using code NATMUG10. If you purchase from the Australian website, I know you're probably thinking, oh, from Australia, but delivery is really quick. And also because you have the exchange rate, I don't know what it's like in any other country, but if you're from the UK it, with the exchange rate, it works out. You Honestly, you can get a hand really, I don't want to say cheap, but it's not cheap, but it works out a lot cheaper than what it does buying it from a UK seller just saying and delivery is really quick even though it's from australia so there we go that's my little hint hint of the day buy your flexi hands from sharon directly from australia and you can save some money <laughs> save some moolah over the top of the dots i'm also adding some hearts i'm not sure why i just i just wanted to add some hearts in there we go oh they're so pretty there's three different kind of iridescent colors as well of those hearts and three different sizes right that's cured for 60 seconds and then i'm going to move on to the middle nail if you know what you're going to do on the set you can do like more than one nail at a time i just didn't know what i wanted to do so i was just doing one nail as i went through and just kind of like winging it so me doing it like this, if you're doing it on a client, if you know what you're going to do, you probably save time by knowing what you want to do. Do you know, am I making sense? Probably not. Okay, so on my palette, I've put a, la a line of each of the colours that I've, I showed you earlier. Back onto this nail, I'm applying another coat of the Snow White. And then I'm going to scoop up the colours on the palette. And I'm going to do like a gel polish marble. The only thing is, because I've got in with the hard gel, it's not. This not going to move around like it would, because it's not. It's not a blooming gel or anything. But it doesn't. I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted. I just wondered if. Yeah, I was just trying to. I was just having a play. I was experimenting, and it turned out all right. It's. It looks really nice. I kind of want to lick it. It looks yummy, doesn't it? And then I'm going to take a dotting tool, and I'm just going to have a little bit of a fiddle 
I was going to say Jimmy Riddle, but that's a widow, isn't it? A wee wee. No one wants a wee wee. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a little bit of a move around with my dotting tool. And then once I'm happy, that will go in the lamp for a full 60 second cure. The index finger. What do I do on this one? So this is the Marion. The Marion. This is Marion, the colour. I really like this colour. Definitely a favourite of mine. So the first coat going on, you can tell I was watching telly while I was doing this. I've been, I watch, I do nails as I watch Netflix. So every now and then I will stop for a little bit when I'm concentrating on Netflix. And then I think, oh, quick, you're doing nails. <laughs> so that's gone in the lamp to kill for 60 seconds. And I'm going to go in with my second coat. These coats don't have to be thick, just thin coats is absolutely fine. And then like we did the ring finger, I'm going over with a, a thin coat of Cool One Step Gel because I'm going to put some iridescent hearts on this nail. So this isn't going to be cured. Not yet anyway. Um, we're going to put the hearts in it first. And again, as I said before, there are three different shapes of hearts. So you can see them in the tray. There's small ones, medium ones and large ones. And there's three different colours. So there's like pinky ones, bluey ones and yellow ones. And I'm going to apply... A, like a mixture of all of them onto this nail I kind of want them to overlap as well I'm sorry if you can hear the workmen outside I say it every time hopefully it feels like they've been here forever but they haven't but it feels like it <clears throat> so I'm putting I'm lit I am sort of pretty much covering the whole nail but I wanted I wanted I wanted lots of them on I think these are really I love these so much and I didn't use them as much as I wanted to over Valentine's Day but hearts aren't just for Valentine's hearts can be like forever can't they just whenever you want right that was the cool one step gel that I didn't show you before but that was the cool one step gel now I've finished I actually haven't finished the nails I do decide that I'm going to add a little bit more onto a couple of the other nails but to encapsulate I go over with a thin layer of cool one step gel there's a hair there was loads of hairs today i don't know where they came i don't know if it's i don't know i've got like this fluffy this fabric fluffy fabric that i i photograph on photograph and uh, i wonder if it's coming from there but i put my thin layer down this is the slip layer and then i am applying a bigger bead but this brush is smaller than what i usually encapsulate with I usually have a different brush that I encapsulate with, but today or yesterday when I done the nails, I clearly was not so bothered. So I also like to turn, get your client to turn their hand upside down just so that you can move the gel into place and then I cure it in the lamp. This is called Joan. It's a bling line glitter. I'm going to actually put some of this through the marble and I do do a glitter fade. I do do a glitter fade on the pinky. I do think I should have gone in with a more like a, a more iridescent color I think it looks I love it I think it looks really nice but I wasn't sure that the glitter was quite right for this set because the other colors that like the hearts and the dots are more kind of iridescent and this is like a sort of darker metallic glitter but there we go it's done and I just this is yeah that's why i decided to do the pinky as well because i thought i need to put some more of the gl this glitter on the on the set somewhere i was just following through some of the lines from the marble i'm gonna leave it like that so i do do the pinky as well i do a glitter fade which you can see there when you are happy and they've all been encapsulated you're going to need to wipe off the tacky layer with some gel cleanser and then you can go ahead and file the nails that was me pretending to file. Oh, what happened there? The transition was pants. Oh, I'll have to change that. Um, so now we're going to top coat. I'm using a glossy top coat for the pinky and the marble. And I, I really like this marble. Do you know what it is? It's that metallic lilac through it. It looks amazing. That, can you see the metallic lilac oh it looks almost like a chrome it's so pretty oh i love it and then for the uh, what is this one ring finger and the index i'm going to apply a matte top coat you can leave it all shiny <clears throat> but i really like these 
matte finished especially this heart nail by the way i picked off my thumbnail um and if you looked at my nails now i actually the rest of i picked the rest off oh i'm so bad Ooh, why do i do this so my nails aren't looking good at the moment. Right, that's going to go in the lamp to cure. I then decided to add some crystals on. So this big ball is from the Morning Frost Swarovski Bumper Collection from Bumper Mix, should I say, from the Crystal Parade. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. I don't even know why I decided to use it. I just did. I then added... Oh, I can't think what this colour is called of crystal, but it's bloody gorgeous. And then I added two Preciosa AB crystals either side. If you want to get 5% off the crystal parade, you can do so using my code NAT5. They do some amazing crystals. Literally obsessed. <laughs> oh, and you can get 10% off any Bling Line um, products as well using my code NATMUG10. I don't think I said at the beginning, but the websites and, uh, and discount codes will be in the description box below. I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds, and then that's going to be the set finished. Ready? I mean, they're a bit crazy, but I kind of like them. <laughs> I hope you did too. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It is Thursday, so I am doing a video tomorrow. Though, I don't think I've got one ready. But I'll have to try and get my... I'll have to sort myself out. Sort your life out, Nats. I'm waiting for my car. My car's in for MIT, so I'm waiting to pick it up. Oh, it could be dire anyway thanks for watching i will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video i think that's it yeah love you all bye <laughs>